Hey everybody, NavyDoc5184 here and welcome to another reaction video and today we are reacting to Star Wars Tales of the Jedi Episode 2, Justice. So, <clears throat> just like with the last one, I'm really I'm going in completely blind. I haven't even checked to see like what each of the episodes entails or anything like that. Just really going in blind, so I really got nothing, uh, I guess, uh, to say in terms of what I expect. I will say that I did thoroughly enjoy episode one. That was a real fun episode. Uh, you know, seeing the birth of Ahsoka and seeing her first um, use of the Force and their instant realization of the fact that she has that ability. So I'm very anxious to see uh, where they go with that story, though I do know that there are um, a couple other stories that are involved with this so don't know what this one is going to entail but really looking forward to it should be a fun episode so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it everybody say hello to finn and yes he is named after finn from star wars so <laughs> but um we're gonna go ahead and uh get into the episode uh if you want to watch the full uh watch along video um naturally i'm watching this on disney plus so you can watch along with that so if you have disney plus uh you can go to my patreon page and um i'll have a timer um on the screen just so you have a time frame of reference of where i'm at so just have uh the episode on one screen you can have um, my reaction on the other one and we can watch this all together on patreon and let's go ahead and get started we'll be arriving shortly master set us down well clear of the village tensions are high enough yes master so i was about to say based off the animation that looked like qui-gon jim but between that mixed with the accent from our uh, master I think we got a Count Dooku Qui-Gon story here. Ooh, this is getting juicy. Uh, very curious on what's going on here. What do they have to do with the situation? Where's the child? Child. Where are they holding the senator's son? Why should we tell you? Oh. Okay. Oh, do you really want to play this game? What do you know, Senator Dagonet? He is one of the longest standing senators in the Republic. Yes. And when you entered this village, you could see the effects of his long-standing policies. With due respect, if you don't like him, why not elect a new senator? I wish it were that simple. Have you been treated well? For a prisoner, yes. Besides, I have Tutan here to keep me company. <laughs> How could my father allow this to happen to his people? You don't blame them for abducting you. What choice do they have? This is already a real heavy episode. I'm not gonna lie, this feels like this really explains a lot in terms of uh, Count Dooku and Qui-Gon's, um, I guess you'd say, feelings towards the Jedi and whatnot. Let me assure you, your son is in no immediate danger. I'll be the judge of that. Judge? You don't even know what's going on. Got. Hold it. Hold on. You serve the Senate. No. We serve the people of this Republic. You don't. Pl don't mess with the smoke. You don't want it. You don't want it. It's so weird seeing Dooku with a blue lightsaber. Fire! See, I feel like I really want some more backstory on what's going on with this particular uh, world. I feel like he's in some sort of corrupt business or something like that the fact that he really has no 
care at all for these people that he's supposed to represent. I will destroy this town and make an example of it. And many For others. what? None shall defy me, not even you, Master Jim. Master. Uh oh. Is this where his Is this where his fall takes place? Corruption like yours oh. must be eradicated. No! Stop! Master, it's over. <laughs> Not quite, but we do see what his whole ordeal is. How could you do this? These are your people. Our people. Oh, okay. I just noticed that some of the guards are saying, okay. Hey, that's a good start right there. Your actions saved many lives today. Just thinking in the moment, Master. Well, then. You're a much wiser man than I, Qui-Gon Jinn. Thanks to your teachings. Doesn't that feel like a theme? It feels like every master says that to their apprentice. Y'all, that's a lot to freaking unpack right there. In 13 minutes, that show hit on so much and it's like you just got so much backstory on i mean between count dooku and qui-gon jinn even if you knew nothing else about you know whether what they looked like or anything like that but like you kind of know how they are um as characters it was kind of easy to see how this particular uh, mission really kind of solidified where they were <clears throat> because like even um count dooku you know while um episode two attack of the clones is probably my least favorite of all the star wars movies um it does have some moments i think really deserve a lot of merit count dooku being one of them and it really seemed like like even though I, he was the apprentice to um well, he wasn't the Emperor at the time, but we'll just say Darth Sidious. It didn't feel like he was really, I guess you could say, a full-on Sith. You know, it felt like he was just more not with the Jedi philosophy of things. But he wasn't really... I never got the sense that he was really evil. Like, you saw his issue there, how he was definitely where I thought, I'm like, is that where he fell but he was just fed up with the corruption of that senator the fact that that senator let his people suffer the way they did and was doing absolutely nothing about it and you could see how that bothered him but then you have Qui-Gon again and it harkens back to episode one where he was telling um, Obi-Wan Kenobi to stay focused in the moment and that's exactly the line that he used right there when um Dooku was telling him that his actions saved many people and his response was just thinking in the moment I'm like that is such a Qui-Gon line and dude they hit this out of the park but then even off the Star Wars subjects just the idea like the thing that got me the most is you get these officials that are elected to represent the people to help the people but yet it's like once they get into that position, they start living so comfortably, especially when they're in office for so long, that they become so out of touch. It's almost as if those people really don't even matter, and the only thing that matters is them keeping their position. There are many examples that I can even go with this. Like, um, I won't get into too many. Um, I'm actually not going to get into any details because uh, I don't want to get political on this, but I just know like places that I've lived where you'll have, you know, senators, representatives who have been in office for practically 
people have lived their whole lives only knowing this one person in this particular office and they're like how they can they represent us but yet they make these type of decisions that do nothing to help us at all and that was a huge theme with this one and you could tell that they really had no intention of doing any harm to the senator's child they just wanted the senator's attention you know to see what it was that they were going through but yeah even when he was there he did not care he didn't care until he almost got killed by count dooku and his son probably is gonna play a role of hopefully something happening there you can already see some seeds being planted there by the guards that were there to help kill those people then starting to help them rebuild you know and i know that count dooku seems a little pessimistic about it but you know you got qui-gon who seems to be a little more optimistic about it but it's just i mean good oh man it is amazing how they pack that much story that many themes in such a short episode i'm telling you what this series is I don't even know what to describe it with. It is absolutely fantastic. It is such a treat for any Star Wars fans. Um, if anybody has not seen this yet, I'm already just two episodes in, highly recommending this, and I can't wait to get to episode three, that um, video, um, barring any crazy um, things going off my schedule. That should be next week, uh, probably again on Tuesday. Um, and maybe even episode four on um, Thursday it just depends on um, if I do any movies uh, whether it's by myself or um, with anybody else we'll have to wait and see but um, just stay tuned on Sunday for my community post and I'll let you know exactly what the um, upload schedule is gonna be but either which way I really enjoyed this episode this series is on fire I cannot wait to get the episode 3 um, Hope you all enjoyed watching that with me. That was such a joy. Um, again, if you want to watch the full watch along um, to this particular video, uh, go ahead, um, just join uh, my Patreon, um, five bucks a month. And um, for this, I'm not gonna have any of the analysis before or after. It's just gonna be the full episode and my reaction um, through that episode. And like I said, you can just follow the timer to know exactly where I am on that. So. Thank y'all for stopping by. Hope y'all enjoyed that and I will catch y'all down the road.